Hello and welcome to my life as a crazy bug lady. If you're asking yourself, why do I look greasy? Why do I look like I fell out of a trash can? Well, you see, it's because one, I just got off work and two, I just had this really great idea just kind of hit me out of nowhere. I was just sitting here eating a snack and I thought to myself, why don't I try to make a bioactive enclosure? Why not, right? I think I have the tools. I have this big enclosure that I got off Craigslist. It's quite large. I also have this smaller enclosure. I love plants, so I have a lot of plants. I have isopods and I have a lot of different animals. So I thought, let's try and make a bioactive enclosure because I think it'll be really fun. So if you wanna see how it goes, please stick around. If I do this terribly, please let me know if you have any tips. And yes, I don't have any eyebrows right now, but that's okay because we're about to get dirty. We're about to plant and we're about to make some cool bioactive enclosures. And I don't know who's gonna go in them yet, but we'll find out. So let's go. Okay, so I'm outside and here are the enclosures. And I'm gonna go ahead and spray them off because they've been in the attic for a while. Okay, so I dried the enclosures off to the best of my ability. And I'm going off of little to no um, research while making these enclosures, but I thought I could go ahead and put a layer of perlite on the bottom of the enclosure so that there's some drainage for the plants that I'm going to put in there. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so next up it's time to put in the plants. I brought out some of my house plants. I have this really big ZZ plant which I think would look so awesome in this big enclosure. And then I have this kind of sad looking little palm. I thought maybe I could save it. This also really sad looking polka dot plant which maybe will thrive in a situation like that. This is a mini of this plant, which I'm not sure what it is. What is it? Tropical Pilia. Um, very informative. And a beautiful golden pothos. So I'm trying to decide how I'm gonna arrange them in these enclosures, but maybe I'm just gonna kind of go for it and see what happens. Okay, so I'm losing light very quickly, but so far I want to show you how freaking cool this looks. Oh my god, I can't believe it looks better in person. The leaf litter doesn't look so good. I added some moss and um, some leaf litter, a few branches, and then this one doesn't nearly look as good, but it has some leaf litter. And so now I'm going to add the final touch, which is the isopods. Oh my gosh. This guy's already ran away. So I'm gonna be using um, dairy cows because I have a lot of them. They breed like crazy. And so that's why they're gonna be awesome for this enclosure. So, oh, he went out. Go in. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the isopods in. And get them comfy. I'll add some more um, isopods once I fish them out of my culture. They were just kind of not wanting to leave. So I'm going to give some cork for the isopods to enjoy. Put a piece back here. And I think, oh, here's a little guy who needs to go in. Oh no! Okay, I'm not gonna put the isopods in that enclosure yet because I have to find more. So overall, this one turned out okay. You can see the perlite at the bottom, soil, and then I have planted some of these pilia plants and leaf litter, some twigs to climb on. I think I'm gonna put some mantises in here and I think it will do the job. I'm gonna have to find more isopods, I have to dig them out of my culture, but I mean, not bad. But the real star of the show is this enclosure right here. Oh my God, it looks so cool, I'm so excited. I've never had a bioactive enclosure before, but I have my ZZ plant, oh, I can take this off. Pretend like that sticker's not there. But I have a really nice background, some ZZ plant, uh, a pothos, we have our isopods in there. 
and yeah i think it's gonna be awesome i'm gonna have to decide who's gonna go in here but overall i'm really happy for my first attempt okay so i'm back inside of my room i really hope that you enjoyed watching me make these um bioactive enclosures i think i know what's gonna go in these big enclosure but it's gonna be a surprise so stay tuned if you want to see that but I decided in this smaller enclosure I would go ahead and put some ghost mantises because I think they would do really well in an enclosure like this um I hope you like the stickers where they can have a lot of place to hide and blend in with their surroundings so currently my ghost mantises are living on the plants in my room so I'm going to go ahead and collect a couple and put them in the enclosure and see how they like it here's one right here here is a female. I know I have some more hiding in my room somewhere. I just have to find them. But I am glad to be able to have them in an enclosure now because it's been kind of hard to find them for feedings. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the ghost mantises in here because they're doing their job blending in so well. But there is one right here. And the female is right over here. I think they're gonna do awesome in here so I really hope they like it and I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you um, stay tuned to see who goes in the big enclosure because I think it's gonna be exciting but anyways thank you so much for watching I appreciate you I think you're so great and please come back next time oh and subscribe if you haven't yet because I've heard that most of my people who watch my videos aren't subscribed so we can change that thanks for watching and 